Hello, welcome to Swiss Watch Gang. As I promised you guys three years ago, my goal is to show you watches and watchmakers which you don't know yet. Today on the channel we have another special watchmaker, Jean-Michel Fo. Hello, nice Hello. to meet you, man. I hope you're good. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I hope I pronounced the name correctly, you know, with the French name, so it's a bit tough. So thank you for coming and uh, for showing us these beautiful creations. Today we have not just wristwatches, but also your other passion, which is basically clocks. How did you... also. An automaton, exactly. Yeah. But tell me, how did you start with watches? Because, you know, you don't start with this, you started somewhere else. So what was your beginning? Now, I, I discovered uh, really horology in a little museum in Fougères, a yeah. French city in Brittany, where I... I come from. So I went to see watchmakers, uh, a traditional watchmaker who make reparation, uh, after sales service. And when I saw the guy is cool every day making his little mechanics uh, and uh, wow, what is his job? Yeah. <laughs> and more I, dec I discover the, the um, uh, horology, the watchmaking, clock making more I want to make it and when I discover, uh, so I start school uh, in red mm -hmm. and more I learn, more I want to make and uh, when I um, discover the, the creation, like you, you can take something, uh, start with some wheels and then um, make a, a creation with a new combination mm. and, and you can start of course uh, by zero. And, but uh, I was well <laughs> enjoying this a lot. Right. So I went in the east of France, not far from the Swiss border in Morteau, yeah. uh, Lycée Edgar Faure, which is uh, yeah. famous now. <laughs> yeah, many, many good watchmakers uh, come from. For two years, uh, it was uh, amazing years, yeah. of course. With the, the diploma of uh, art, uh, um, art job, uh, Diplôme des métiers d'art en français. I don't mm -hmm. know the exactly traduction. And after that. I worked five years to Ulysse Nardin. Nice. Uh, it was uh, also an amazing experience because I started like a simple watchmaker. I went to great complication, but after that, the two last years, I, were, I was a creator for the brand. So mm -hmm. I was making projects, new designs, things that I can talk today, uh, unfortunately. But um, uh, the, um, the boat concept uh, called Super Catamaran yeah. uh, was a table clock uh, I designed. Uh, so when I was creator, we, Nice. So when did you start your own brand after this? So after leaving uh, Ulysse Nardin in uh, 2017, I started my, my company in uh, 2018. Uh, and I start uh, with this project. Hmm. And I know uh, there is uh, a lot of people uh, who are interested by this type of concept. Mm -hmm. and, and so this, uh, also this car is, is um, telling time by the back wheel because in fact, the movement which is in the motorization is related to the back wheel. Wow. So if you push, you put um, the car on the table, you don't have to push it. Yeah. It goes ahead by itself at the amazing speed of 13 millimeters per hour, almost 300 millimeters per day. So when the people ask me the reserve power, I say, it's two meters and a half. <laughs> the power reserve, huh? Yes. And you see the hours here? Yes, you read the, t you, the hour uh, at the bottom of the wheel. Mm -hmm. And for the minute, just take a look to the steering wheel here. Yeah. Uh, you see, I put a, a little uh, yeah. a polish uh, ball. And this is the minute indication. But time is an excuse, uh, oh, of exactly, course. Exactly, exactly. Uh, uh, and um, this was a limited edition of 10 piece, and mm -hmm. this is sold out now because it was a very beautiful success. And it was cool. a big challenge to make the design, but also the, the weight, not a, too heavy, not too big, mm -hmm. uh, for uh, let the car uh, drive the time on the table. Yeah, exactly. And this is basically like a platform? And yes, uh, because uh, when you have this on your desk, uh, it will be a problem. If In a few goes. days, it's going to basically <laughs> yes. fall off. Huh? So, you put this little yeah. transparent so base, it does a mover. and then it, it, you have a little angle, and so the wheel here are not touching the, the, oh, the table. Are you going to make uh, more clock concepts like this in the future? Yeah, this one is sold out, but I have uh, an another concept, uh, the Time Fury P18, okay. and I don't know if I will come back to cars. Yeah. If uh, people request uh, this a lot, maybe. Why not? Uh, <laughs> but I don't want to be the guy who is only making uh, uh, cars always, because I made also things with animals. Yeah, yeah, which comes to this thing, beautiful thing. So I found out about you a few years ago when I saw the wasp. Was it a wasp, right? Yes, it was um, 10 years ago. When I started in Ulysse Nardin, I was 
not making creation, uh, but I need to make creation. I love this and it's very important for me. So uh, I make a few little prototype projects at home. And one day I, I went uh, so to see the Academy, the Academy Horlogère des Créateurs Indépendants, mm -hmm. RCI, and I was talking with a watchmaker and he said, you need to make something um, that is your uh, creation, I mean, that is um, your identity, that uh, directly uh, came from your hut. I decided to make this, this wasp, very simple, yeah, uh, really in line, and I just put it on the internet. But after that, the people were crazy, and at <laughs> my job, at Ulysse Nardin, every, everybody wants to see this. And so they, then, they proposed me to make a uh, creation for the brand. So a few years later, I become officially a creator for Ulysse Nardin. Very so nice. everything starts for me with this uh, wasp, yeah. And so we were Which in was 20, you, huh? 23, yeah. actually, it's 10 years after. And so I want to continue uh, the spirit with this bee. Beautiful. I saw it in person. I, at first, I thought it's not a clock. I thought it's just a mechanical art. But then I saw the platform, which it's on. So. Yes, I have found a solution. I want to indicate time with this bee, but not uh, with a classic way or not put, put the time inside the bee because it it is an inconvenient for the aesthetic. I discovered that the bee are turning on herself, are making dance when they want to communicate and send things to the bee. And so this bee can turn on the base to indicate time. In fact, you have numbers here, like here five, six is represented uh, by a drawing, but seven, eight, etc. And so in 12 hours, the bee make a turn, a complete turn. Ah, beautiful. But there is nothing in the base. And the fact is, I can take the bee, the base, no, there is nothing, just two wheels, yeah. and everything is in the bee. And here you just have a system to engage uh, the bee inside to make the rotation, but you can easily take it on or take it off. You know, watchmaking, orology is a, a savoir-faire, mm. a, um, a skill. Know-how, yeah. Know -how. yeah. And uh, mechanical art is how to use this but to make very poetic things yeah. and things that are hard and tell you a story. Yeah. And um, in all my work, I love to speak about um, the desire of harmony. It, mm -hmm. I, I speak for me, but also a lot of people uh, feel this, the desire of harmony with, between human and nature mm -hmm. and uh, harmony of way, the way we use our technology. Yeah. Um, because actually, in the society, we have a lot of, of problems with uh, ecolog edge ecologic problems uh, and problems uh, of disharmony in the way we, we make things. And, um, and uh, this desire of harmony is very important for me. And when you see this bee, this is one of the best expressions I can make today of this desire of harmony because you have a mix between uh, mechanical uh, so the horology, which is a very old skill. The, this is the mother, in fact, of, of, of the modern mechanics for a, a lot of things. The bee is a very old symbol uh, uh, in history. You find in the Egyptian civilization, uh, more present, Napoleon mm. used the bee as a symbol. Uh, also, the way I design everything, it's a little bit to see life inside the bee. It's a way to, to feel how the, the, the life works inside the animal to make emotional uh, connection. Connection, yeah, yes, of course. Nice, beautiful. And last but definitely not least, your so beautiful watches. wrist watcher. A few years ago, uh, a friend and me, mm -hmm. dis we discovered the story of Al Jazari. Okay. And this was a, a genius, a, a guy who was like Leonardo da Vinci, but before, in the 12th century, okay. so much before. Yeah. Uh, this great inventor make invention for water system, a lot of water system we still use actually, but also he make uh, water clocks and the most famous one is called the elephant clock. And um, in fact, the, the real elephant clock has disappeared today because it's very old, but here at the back of the watch, it's an uh, unpainted representation what we found into uh, the book and um, in this uh, drawing, Al Jazari made it himself. And this is a miniaturization of the, of the drawing. Miniature painting. Yeah? Uh, he explained how it works. And, uh, and this is an incredible clock because we are before the European modern and invented something with um, 
an elephant at the base, which yeah. is uh, full of water. So you have a clepsydra system inside. You have a tower. At the top of the tower, you have a stock of ball. And when the clepsydra is full, there is a system pushing a ball um, mm -hmm. from the top of the tower into the mouth of a dragon, because the, the dragon is always on the top of the tower. Mm -hmm. And when the ball is inside the mouth of the dragon, it falls completely yeah. of, uh, uh, almost uh, one, uh, 180 degrees. And so it rewinds the clepsydra, it increases the display, and then the ball disappears uh, uh, under. It makes a ring, a uh, ring system, uh, like uh, uh, in, in a uh, in coupe, I don't know how So it is an uh, automaton and also a, a system uh, of, uh, of anti-clocks inside the watch, in front of the watch. It's a type of miniaturization of the system. So, so you have an automaton miniature yes. painting? Uh, I put uh, a, a minute on, on the dial uh, for yeah. the minute indication, mm -hmm. but the display system you see with the little hole and black and white yeah. is the display imaginated by Al Jazari in 12th century. Gotcha. And this is a very simple uh, system uh, of our indication mm -hmm. with black and white that indicate also the days or the night. So uh, basically the, the holes are showing the hours. Yes, yes. Nice. In this watch, the dragon here is like a retrograde. So uh -huh. each half an hour, like in the clock, is, uh, go, it goes down and then at the end of the hour, wow. it goes up. Yeah. And when it goes up, it increases the system of display. In this example, Everything is white, so it's because uh, the day is full. Yeah. So the day may, mm, is is end. We are at uh, uh, six p.m. Yeah. And now, you see the black is increased. Mm -hmm. So what's the time now? Here, yeah. it's uh, seven uh, seven p.m. Yeah. Nice. Uh, yes, there is a lot of uh, metier d'art mm -hmm. uh, a job in, in these watches. The back, of course, yeah. which is micro painting. And in the top, you have the elephant, which yeah. is micro painting. You have um, the engraving and lacquerage uh, decoration here. And the, the dragon, they are in silver. Yeah. And also hand painted after that. This dragon, it's like an automaton, mm -hmm. but this one is actually working with a very big wheel under the dial. Yeah. And uh, his job is to maintain at the good position okay. at each. Uh, uh, which increase and the middle part is also beautiful. Yes, the dial polished. and the, the um, yes the, this one the, the tower I call it the um, pont des dragons so yeah. the dragon bridge and uh, it is in steel and with uh, anglage mm -hmm. uh, um, no anglage rentrant I don't know what's English word yeah. uh, so very hard to make in this uh, complicated shape. Gorgeous. What's the what's the price point? So if anybody wants to buy one, the price is forty nine thousand. It's the ten millimeter edition, so we have a lot of requests. Also for these things, if people are interested, they can ask you. Maybe like yes, for Zobi is unique piece uh, that I have a request. So um, maybe I, I I'm going to make other bees, but each piece will be unique. Yeah, it be, unique. will be unique because I have not um, a lot of parts uh, made. Uh, uh, ready to assemble. Yeah. I make each part one by one in an artisanal traditional way. So guys, if you have some questions for uh, Jean-Michel, uh, please leave a comment down below. Also check out his page and Instagram account. There's uh, many cool things you can see there also how you work behind the scenes obviously, which is always nice. I have something. Oh, what do you have? I want to thank you. This is wings. I didn't know about this. <laughs> <laughs> this is wings. Uh, I had a lot of wings in stocks. Just wings, because I don't make, this is the only thing I, I don't make in this bee. Oh, nice. And so I want to give you, oh, thank you these so much. little wings uh, that are not painted. Wow. You have a couple of wings and so Thank enjoy you it. so much. Now I can make my own bee. Yes. <laughs> Here we go. Very nice. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thanks. I mean, this is uh, unexpected. This is very cool. If somebody wants to buy this, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Highest bidder. I'm joking, guys. So like and subscribe, share this video with somebody who loves watches and loves to discover new watchmakers like we do. Thank you guys for watching and as always, I'll see you next week.